We begin with breaking news at five. We've learned embattled Providence City Council President Luisa Ponte has just resigned from his leadership position. And the council had planned a special meeting for Monday to try and force him out. Let's get right to Target 12 investigator Tim White, who has the very latest on this breaking story. Tim. Mike and Shannon, the pressure has been mounting for Aponte to step down. On Monday, 12 members of the council took a vote of no confidence in their council president and even the mayor and governor said he should step down. We learned of Aponte's decision a half hour ago in a news release. Aponte made it clear he was stepping down from his leadership position but will remain on the council to represent Ward 10. The 53-year-old Democrat was indicted nine days ago, accused of misusing his campaign funds. Aponte reported repeatedly failed to file his campaign finance reports. State police launched an investigation last fall. Aponte, who has been on the council since 1999, has pleaded not guilty. Initially, despite calls for his resignation, Aponte held on. Then the council threatened to change the rules at a special meeting scheduled for Monday in an attempt to remove him from office. In a statement, Aponte says he urges his colleagues to, quote, refrain rushing into a reactive rules change that undermines our democratic principles. Again, embattled city council president Luis Aponte has stepped down from his leadership position. We are still gathering reaction and we'll have more for you coming up at six o'clock. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. But first at six, more on the breaking news we first reported at five. Luis Aponte has resigned as Providence City Council president. This follows calls from several of his fellow councilors, the mayor of Providence and even Governor Gina Raimondo to step down in the wake of his arrest. The Target 12 investigators have been tracking Aponte for months and Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us live now in studio with the latest, including what happens next. Tim. Mike and Shannon, for more than a week, the pressure has been mounting for Aponte to abandon his leadership position, but he held on. Today, with a special meeting called for next week to try and force him to step down, he succumbed to that pressure. On Monday, embattled City Council President Luis Aponte was defiant, saying stepping down would be seen as an admission of guilt. I intend to remain as Council President. Late Friday, his office issued a news release saying he was no longer going to be city council president, but would remain on the council to represent Ward 10. He says in part, after much deliberation, I have determined that it is in the best interest of my constituents, colleagues and city to formally submit my resignation as Providence City Council president. Last week, Aponte was hauled into Providence Superior Court in shackles to face a four count indictment. He stands accused of misusing campaign finance money. Aponte has pleaded not guilty. He should step down as city council president. On Monday, 12 members of the city council took a vote of no confidence in their leader. Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza and Governor Gina Raimondo both urged the 53-year-old Democrat to abandon his leadership position. He is believed to be the first city council president in recent history to step down amid scandal. Here's what happens next. City Councilwoman Sabina Matos will immediately become acting City Council President. The council will then schedule a vote for a permanent replacement. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.